booked to uh, celebrate my 200th game this weekend against Wasps. Um, it's a bit strange in that my first game was actually against Wasp too, so we've kind of come full circle. But it's 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 nice. It's a great achievement. Something that I'm really proud of. And obviously, having been here going on in my 11th season now, it's uh, it's good to tick off these milestones. And you know, hopefully, I can keep going and you know, add a few more under my belt before my time's done in this game. Um, you know, it's a big week for the club. Obviously. You know, had a few close but good performances and there'd be no better way to sign off this weekend with a win to celebrate that 200th so I'm really looking forward to that and we'll have a good week's training and build up for Saturday and we'll come all guns blazing um, it's, it's been a, an enjoyable 10 years, I mean you know, rugby has its highs and lows but I genuinely say that I've, I've loved my time at Irish um, probably the ones that stand out I mean, obviously my debut in that I actually, actually scored my first touch coming on at half time which was which is a surreal moment so for uh, I think like, how old was I? maybe 19 years old at the time I think so that's a surreal moment for anyone breaking into the game um, and then obviously over the years you know when we've, we've been to the very top and been really close you know Challenge Cup finals Premiership finals Heineken Cup semi-finals and all those have been really memorable I mean uh, I'd say one game that does stand out would probably be the, the quarterfinal against Perpignan just to see how the Medeski was packed that day, just flags waving. It was just an unbelievable atmosphere and to play in that and then to carry that on into the semi final was was unbelievable. I mean those two games really do stand out. Um, again Munster in the Heineken Cup as well, that that atmosphere. I don't know whether it was the mist being a kind of six o'clock kickoff. But again coming out to that and the noise and just the intensity in the stadium it Almost, it felt like a test match, and it was in the way that we played. I mean, those three games were really great, and you know, we've had some memorable wins for London Irish as well. <laughs> Again, probably one of them being the the game against Wasps. I uh, can't remember the year now, but when we went down to Edwards Park and won, it was 59-27, something like that. And again, one of those games that at the time when you don't really appreciate it till afterwards, till you watch it back, but. I think in the context of the season and the way that the club had a breakthrough year that season, I think you know, again that's one game that really does stand out. So um, yeah, it's been a, it's been an enjoyable 200 so far, and is looking forward to many more. And as a message to supporters, how would they make your 200th game memorable for you? Um, well, first of all, I mean they've been fantastic. To say from when I first joined to to here now, you know brilliant and the messages and the support I received is fantastic. Um, this weekend it would just be brilliant to just, just see the stadium as full as possible. I mean it, it makes a massive difference and you know being at home we know we're strong, we know we play good rugby but you know we really do need to get over the line now this weekend and get that win so that would be the biggest thing I could ask for. You know it would cap off what would be a memorable week to get that 200 appearance to also top it up with a win.